Okay, so um, we'd like to do some more work in our kernel, some more modifications, and a really fun one to do is adding hot plugging options. So hot plugging controls uh, whether your CPUs are on or off or, uh, you know, trying to help you save, uh, save electricity, save battery. So we're looking at an example where um, I added an uh, Intel plug, which is Fox123's hot plug alternative to MP Decision. So I want to be really clear, Fox123 made this, not me. Uh, you know, so I want to give credit where credit is due. I just added Fox123's hot plug to the kernel uh, that I was using. Um, it had already been added to the Galaxy S4 kernels by other modders and by Fox123 uh, as well. And so uh, I just want to be really clear on that. So once again, um, you know, what hot plugging options kind of depends on what phone variant you're using. Uh, notice we're using, uh, you know, the S4, which has the Adreno uh, 320 with the 8064AB SOC and the Qualcomm Crate uh, CPU. So, you know, this this is the Snapdra Snapdragon 600. So, the hot plugging options you'll use or put into your custom ROMs if you decide to do so really kind of depends on what's been written for the, for the you know, the platform that you have or you would have to write one yourself and if you're that smart well you're smarter than me and you don't really need this uh, video series so um, I'm just utilizing someone else's great work so you can always check on you know github see if someone else has added uh, other um, hot plugging options for the for the phone you're trying to work with or tablet whatever the case may be um, so let's look at Let's look at the work that uh, we would need to do to add something like this. Now again, it's going to vary a lot depending on your kernel, but I just want to show you so you get the idea of how this works. So we're in our Arch ARM mock MSN and we're bringing up the kconfig uh, you know, file again. And once again, we're comparing between my uh, already modded kernel and the CyanogenMod mod uh, stock kernel. So, you know, be sure to look back at pre previous videos if you have some questions on, on that. Um, but so here we go. We, we look through the list of options and it's all the same. And once again, the kconfig is like your menu. You know, you're at the restaurant and your menu lets you choose what do you want um, to order. And so the, uh, you know, the things that we see um, in here as we're looking for is this IntelliPlug. Um, now I actually don't have that uh, in the one that I've uh, I've modded here, or else it's already been added to. There's let me see here. So um, yeah, this isn't one that I put into the particular kernel that I am working with. We can try looking for IntelliPlug and we don't find it in here at all and that's fine so we'll just have to add it you know the old-fashioned way so the great thing is if you find somebody else's commit you can look where it's supposed to go it's supposed to go right here CPU frequency MSN and right below that is where we put in this IntelliPlug uh, notice that I did put my initials on here and the date that does not mean that I made it it's just that it makes it really easy for me working with my own kernel to be able to find what I've been working on. Uh, make sure if you copy and paste from like GitHub or GitLab that you remove these plus signs and things because those are not um, kosher to have in your uh, kconfig file. So we've added this IntelliPlug. We're saying, yep, we need to, or we want to enable the the default, or excuse me, the uh, CPU hot plug driver. Um, also putting your initials on something makes it really easy for you to find later if you just search for your initials into a file uh, doing a file search so we've we've put it on the menu with our kconfig file but now we need to look at our make file and uh, see um, 
if we can add that in there as well. So, you know, here we have our um, make file, and it's going to be under msmkexec.o, so, and above this procom.o. So it gives us an idea where in the file we should put it. We're just going to search for that, and we see, yep, there's what we're looking for. So it's going to be right between those two. So again, we just copy the line uh, straight out of here, but we're saying if the object of config in teleplug was chosen as yes or a module or whatnot, then it needs to compile the IntelliPlug object from the IntelliPlug C file. So we uh, save that. <clears throat> and, uh, and now we can build this IntelliPlug. So notice, um, let me get back to where we're going here. Mock MSN. Apparently I can't spell today. There we go, mock MSN. So here we are, and we're looking in here, um, and what we need is the IntelliPlug uh, file to actually build. And of course, uh, we didn't have this in uh, the the uh, kernel that I was working with. So we can uh, view the file and we see, you know, all of this uh, code that was nicely written here. And it's quite a bit of code, you know, so a little more than we'd want to copy. If we just dragged and copied all that, we'd have to delete a lot of plus signs and everything. So if we look at this code in the raw, we uh, could just copy and paste all of this and we don't have those plus signs or anything like that. We also could have just right clicked and say download uh, download from the raw and get that file. But we'll just go ahead and create a new empty file and we'll call it, you know, of course, Intelli uh, plug.c. And now if we find that file, we can open it up. Of course, it's empty. We're going to paste all that great work in there by uh, Paul Rio or Fox123. I, I hope that's how you say his name because uh, this is some great work and I definitely want to um, put a plug in for the great work that he's done. So so now we've got the menu option built in our K config. We've got the make instructions put into our make file and we've got the um, source code for Intel plug um, as well. And so here I was just showing you that you could just right click and save it instead of having to copy and paste. But uh, just just food for thought for you for later depending on what you're working on or what you're going to do. So um, now let's see else do we need? We've got in our, uh, let's make sure kconfig is correct here. So we've got in our kconfig, notice though that the default is yes. So we don't have to specify anything in our configuration file because the default for this is yes. But like I said before, if you are putting something in, rather than say default yes here, which you can leave as default yes, you should verbatim write it into your uh, into your def config or default config file, but uh, just to just to show you here, we're going to go ahead and let it build. Um, and while it's building, we'll take a look in our kernel objects here. Of course, this is for CPU frequency, and that's not what we're uh, looking for. We want to go. Um, to arch arm uh, mock msm and so if we type intelli right here we see there's no intelliplug uh, that's been built so if we just leave this sit here while this is building um, eventually once intelliplug gets built we'll see that pop up here on this on this screen 
So we're just waiting. Oh, there it goes. So it popped right up here. It got built. Uh, again, since it's been built and it didn't error yet in our terminal, we know that we're, we're good to go. But uh, we'll go ahead and let that finish. And sure enough, there we go. We've got our successful um, boot image created.